selfish. I cannot exist without you. I am forgetful of everything but seeing you again. My life seems to stop there. I see no further. You have absorbed me. I would be martyred for my religion. Love is my religion. I could die for that. I could die for you. As a parent, you kind of try to set an example sometimes for your kids when they're growing up. Um, I always taught them to try to be fearless, don't shy away from change or challenge in life, take it on headstrong, believe in who you are, believe in where you came from, and never forget where you came from. The saying we had from Michael when he was growing up is every day he woke up, life was a new adventure to him. Isn't that a wonderful way to live your life? Obviously, I've known Mike longer than most of you here, and, and I've never seen him happier than he is now. And I, to me, it's just that simple. Um, you know, when you have something that special like they have, he and Jonathan have, um, it really is just that simple. Um, and we're all, you know, blessed to be able to hear, be here and share that with him and experience with him. It's, it's fantastic. It's amazing. Jonathan, you thanked me last night, but now Michael has become an example for me in my life. That's one of the greatest rewards I've ever had. I see the same attributes in you, so thank you for becoming part of our life.
Michael, I choose you. I choose you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I choose you again and again at the start and at the finish of every single day, no matter the season, no matter the year. I choose you to struggle and to succeed with, to fight and to make up with, to love and to grow old with. I choose you knowing there are still trials we must travel, knowing there are mountains left to climb. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life together. Michael, these are the reasons why I choose you. I love you forever and always. Eu te amo. When I, I met Michael, they was dating, there was the second week they was dating. And then I went to the dinner with him I met Michael and I told, I get it, when we left, we got home. Maybe you guys won't believe that, but it's a true story. I look at Jonathan and I say, Jonathan, I'm like, what? You marrying that guy. He's like, what? I'm like, you are marrying that guy? He's like, we are just dating for two weeks, mom. I said, I don't care, it can be two days, you are marrying him. He's like, oh my gosh, he freaked out. <laughs> yeah, he thought I was crazy. Jonathan, ever since I was little, I have dreamed of finding love. I promised to never give up until I found that one person who would change my life forever, just like the movies. At a time where I thought finding this person may not be as possible as I thought it would be, he walked into the room. My life was forever changed the moment I looked up at you. I learned, I've learned that there is never a time or place for true love. Love won't obey our expectations. Its mystery is pure and absolute. Oscar Wilde said, to be in love is to surpass oneself. Aristotle wrote, love is combined of a single soul inhabiting two bodies. To define love is impossible, but to know love is incredible. Today I celebrate my undefinable yet undeniable love for you. I vow to be your best friend and your true love until my very last breath. You are the very definition of my happiness. With this ring, with this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love, my everlasting friendship, my everlasting friendship, and the promise of all my tomorrows, and the promise of all my tomorrows. Jonathan, as you place the ring on Michael's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love, my everlasting friendship, my everlasting friendship and the promise of all my tomorrows and the promise of my, all my tomorrows <laughs> Michael and Jonathan we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here today and in accordance with the laws of the state of Nevada it is my honor and delight to declare you henceforth to be married you may now kiss your husband
Cause if tomorrow brings something good Tonight I do it all for love I do it all for love If you want it, I know I could Tonight I do it all for love I do it all for love Oh, no. 